طيب اليوم ان شاء الله راح نكمل المحاضره الحادي عشر من هذا الفصل راح تكون عن الكاربوكسليك اسيدز اند ديريفاتيفز زي ما بنبلش دائما باي فانكشن جروب راح نحكي مبدئيا عن ستارتنج اللي هو ستارتنج وذ ذا نيمينج اوف كاربوكسليك اسيدز الكاربوكسليك اسيدز ار نيم are named by the following if they are derived from open chain alkanes you replace the terminal e اللي موجود بدل alkane in the word alkane we remove the e and replace it with oic acid okay that's if they're derived from like a linear uh, alkyl chain okay a carboxylic carbon atom is always carbon number one so there is no need to use that number one or numbering of the carboxylic acid Let's take a look at these examples. This is a three carbon carboxylic acid. It's a propane a chain because you have three carbon, one, two, three, and three. Because it's a carboxylic acid, now you remove the E and call it as propanoic acid. The same thing here applies. When I pick the longest hydrocarbon chain, it's going to be this one, obviously. So there is one, two, three, four, five carbons. This is pentanoic acid. And then you have a methyl substitution at carbon number four. So it's four methyl pentanoic acid. And then if you have more than one carboxylic acid, you can add uh, the word dioic acid. Now we call it dioic acid. And uh, so in that case, you could have one uh, uh, carboxylic acid at number one. And then there is another carboxylic at, num at carbon number 8 in this hydrocarbon chain. But the important thing is that we will not add the number 1 and 8. Why will we not add the number 1 and 8, which is the carboxylic acid? Because we always add the carboxylic acids to either the start or the end of this hydrocarbon chain. So there is no need to add them. It's known. If it's dioic acid, then there is two carboxylic acids that will come to the longest hydrocarbon chain. موجودة عندنا واحد راح يجي بالبداية أول كربون راح يجي آخر كربون. These are going to be the two carboxylic acid locations. So that's the only place they can be in. And so there's no need to add one eight dioic acid مثلاً أو ten dioic acid. تمام؟ بس the substituent هون عندنا substituent على على methyl وهنا substituent على ethyl على two different carbons. طيب. هلا بالنسبة للترقيم، this is the longest hydrocarbon هنا للتسمية again you choose the longest hydrocarbon chain and it's going to be the one that has the two carboxylic acid. So this is the longest hydrocarbon chain that has the two carboxylic acids. تمام؟ واضح؟ you have to choose first of all the longest hydrocarbon chain that has the two carboxylic acids. ممكن تلاقي أطول hydrocarbon chains if you want to uh, number it. بس ما راح يكون فيهم الكربوكسيك اسيد ما بيهمهم يهمهم تختار the longest hydrocarbon chain that has the two carboxylic acids. numbering of those it depends على substituent. هون عندنا بهاي الحالة ethyl وعندنا methyl. مين راح ياخذ الترقيم الأقل؟ اللي بروح by alphabetical order. الethyl is E, الM is after the E in alphabetical order. So that carbon will be carbon number three over here. And the other one is going to be number six. So you start numbering from the left side. So that carboxylic acid will take over here, will take number one. And then the other one, number eight. And so you, the ethyl will be at carbon number three. And the methyl will be at carbon number six. And the ترقيم ببلش من الشمال. Carboxylic acid اللي اجت على الشمال هون. مش اللي اجت على اليمين. تمام؟ عشان اعطي الاثل الرقم الأقل. والمثل اللي راح تأخذ رقم الأعلى. And so in that case, the name of that compound will be as you can see. عنا هون شو نيم تبع هذا ال compound? Basically, very easily, it's called as three ethyl, six methyl octane dioic acid. تمام؟ So this is the numbering of linear carboxylic acids. This is how we name them. هلا if they are cyclic, if you have compound with carboxylic acid bonded to a ring, and you have a ring. They're named using the suffix carboxylic acid. راح نستخدم راح نسميهم بإضافة carboxylic acid. خلينا نأخذ أمثلة على هذا الحكي. لو كان عنا cyclohexane وعليها carboxylic acid. As you can see, this is cyclohexane, six carbon cyclic chain وعليها carboxylic acid. This is called cyclohexane carboxylic acid. Carboxylic acid راح تأخذ رقم واحد. Cycle 
and definitely now the other substitute will take the lower number uh, from the two options if so you go clockwise so three bromocyclohexate carboxylic acid over here there's another example this is a cyclopentene it's called cyclopentene carboxylic acid and the double bond is at carbon number one so we give it one cyclopentene and one represent the location of the double bond carboxylic acid okay so i the suffix carboxylic acid if i want to name a cyclic structure and i use the suffix oic acid if i'm going to name a compound that's linear not cyclic تمام هلا this is what we call all IUPAC system naming IUPAC system naming let's take a look at what common names we have for carboxylic acid طيب شوفي عندنا common names for carboxylic acids we have for example the formic acid which is the simplest carboxylic acid coming from formal the word formal the uh, Arab formal means one carbon and we took an example at formaldehyde that was an aldehyde now formic acid just a one carboxylic acid compound acetic acid is a two carboxylic acid compound oxalic acid two carbons that are both carboxylic acids attached to each other malonic acid two malonic acid two carboxylic acid over here and there is a ch2 between them so it's a three carbon carboxylic acid with two carboxylic acids so this compound if you want to name it by systematic naming or IUPAC system راحن سمي propan dionic acid عنا succinic acid هون there is two carboxylic acids in a four carbon hydrocarbon in a four hydrocarbon chain lactic acid lactic acid معروف كثير للي اخذوا biochemistry it's a natural carboxylic acid that exists in the body and accumulation of lactic acid in the muscles cause fatigue and other things and so these are things you have probably have learned in biochemistry lactic acid structure as you can see it's a hydroxy carboxylic acid with the hydroxy at carbon number two. So if you want to name lactic acid by IUPAC system, it's called 2-hydroxy propanoic acid. Malic acid is uh, another dioic acid with, hydro with, carbo with hydroxyl group or hydroxyl group at carbon number two. Benzoic acid, you can see it's a benzene ring with carboxylic acid. Phthalic acid is two carboxylic acids at the benzene ring. This, these are ortho to each other. Two carboxylic acids are ortho to each other. So these are some common names for carboxylic acid that you probably need to learn uh, over time. Uh, for for uh, now, as we learn the naming of uh, uh, carboxylic acid by IUPAC system and common name, the physical properties of carboxylic acid we will talk about them now. The carboxylic acid carbon is sp2 hybridized as you might all know so if we draw here this any carbon that has a double bond we all know is sp2 hybridized so this carbon as you can see is an sp2 let me use a different color so this is an sp2 hybridized carbon tamam so Carboxylic acid carbon and sp2. What does that mean? The sp2 hybridized carbons or any sp2 atom. Shows the way they are going to be at them. The one that we draw is a planar geometry. The way they are going to be 120, as we all know, 120 and 120. And over here as well, it's 100. This. So the bond here as well, 120. And it's a planar geometry. It's also a planar geometry, as you all know, for sp2 hybridized carbon. The carboxylic acid, there's a very important characteristic about them that they have a very high boiling point compared to the alcohol. Much higher boiling point than alcohol. Yani in general, if you want to compare any two compounds of the same number of hydrocarbon chain uh, of carboxylic acid and alcohol, the one with the carboxylic acid will have a much higher boiling point. مثال لو قرنا hexanoic acid hexanol, hexanoic acid will have a much higher boiling point than hexanol. تمام. طيب شو السبب for this? The reason for this that two carboxylic acid molecules can make a dimer. They can make a dimer. They can make two hydrogen bonding with each other. And this is an example on that dimer formation, the acetic acid dimer. These are the acetic acid. The acetic acid 
have a hydrogen that can make a hydrogen bond مع الأكسجين اللي من other molecule and the other molecule hydrogen can make another hydrogen bond مع ال first molecule so it's di hydrogen bond two hydrogen bonds from two molecules you can see two hydrogen bonds in two molecules this is called dimerization بينما بحالة الألكول you see one hydrogen bond with a single molecule or one molecule usually and so this is less uh, less strength of uh, interaction between two alcohol molecules بينما بحالة الكاربوكسيك أسد is a much stronger interaction when you have two carboxylic acid molecules are interacting تمام so the reason for that is the strong hydrogen bonding for carboxylic acid uh, caused them to have a much higher boiling point than the corresponding alcohol okay so typically carboxylic acid uh, they, in solution they exist as dimers بينما alcohols and other type of molecules uh, they exist as usually monomers that are uh, or dimers sharp dimers usually they're monomers that could uh, have a single hydrogen bond with each other only تمام واضحة when you have two hydrogen bonds in the carboxylic acid طيب uh, other things also we, we should learn about physical properties of carboxylic acids carboxylic acids are strong proton donors which mean they're strong acidic compound compared to alcohol they are much stronger acidic compound than alcohol alcohol are weak acidic compounds so what does that mean that means in basically these compounds can donate proton very easily they usually protonate weak and strong bases producing metal carboxylate salt اللي هو conjugate base يعني راح يصير فعليا هذا الكومباوند او هذا الرياكشن if you have a carboxylic acid with any base doesn't have to be sodium hydroxide any type of base so that what happens is that you have this proton is donated to the base to make a water molecule and salt and this is organic salt that you see the salt that's formed is a conjugate base بن سمي of the carboxylic acid هو عبارة عن conjugate base ال base المرافق أو القاعدة المرافقة للحمض اللي هو الكاربوكسليك أسد تبعنا تمام and so this is a non يعني very simple reaction acid base reaction produces your carboxylic acid conjugate base or salt as you can see now we have a negative charge on the oxygen and the sodium is the counter ion اللي راح يكون مرتبط على negatively charged oxygen so this is called carboxylates this compound is called as sodium carboxylate. Hatta ptasmeet to typically is called, yani named as carboxylate uh, anion. Leish carboxylate, lannu fi negative charge al oxygen. Okay? And so, uh, this carboxylate is the conjugate base of the carboxylic acid. Uh, and it's also important to note that carboxylic acids are, they have a very good uh, solubility in water. When the alkyl chain is six carbons or less, يعني hexanoic acid, endless, the pentanoic, uh, butanoic, propanoic, uh, ethanoic, اللي uh, هو acetic acid as well as the methanoic acid اللي هو the formic acid. كلهم هذول have very good solubility in water. More than this, the solubility in water drops significantly. ببطل soluble in water. If it's above six carbons, يعني heptanoic acid and above, usually they're not very good solubility. They don't have good solubility in water as carboxylic acid. لكن أنا بقدر أحسن solubility of this long hydrocarbon chain as uh, uh, carboxylic acid, زي ال ال heptanoic acid will larger by making the salt of them. شو أعمل يعني؟ بضيف عليهم base وبعمل salt اللي شفناه هون. Salt is very good it does have very good solubility in water in uh, as as big as 20 carbon chain okay so heptanoic acid octanoic decanoic acid cool home they can be much bit they can be much more soluble in water if you make the carboxylic acid salt it was sodium salt had as you can see because the salt has a negative full negative charge this is an ionized compound and this is much more more polar than just the carboxylic acid itself. So the salt is one way to increase the solubility of your carboxylic acids. Type. هلا حكينا الكربوكسيليك أسيد are acidic compound or strongly acidic compared to alcohol and other type of organic acids. And the reason why uh, these compounds are 
strongly acidic because they can donate the proton they have easily تبعين الكربوكسيليك أسيد proton here can be donated easily the typical pK for carboxylic acids are for example acetic acid is 4.7 around 4.7 which is much lower than pK of phenol phenol حوالي 10 اللي هي more acidic than just any linear alcohol اللي بيلهم pK about 16 so carboxylic acid more acidic than phenol and alcohol but it's definitely less acidic than hydrogen chloride اللي هم الأسيد هيلايز اللي بنعرفهم لأنهم pK minus 7 طيب شو السبب إنه الكربوكسيليك أسيد is more as you can see is more acidic than alcohol for example the reason why is this because the alkoxide ion of those oh, sorry the reason why the carboxylic acid is uh, basically more water uh, more acidic than alcohol because the carboxylate the negative charge of the carboxylate is stabilized by two oxygens through resonance it's what we call it delocalized if it hurry from one oxygen to the other so that negatively charged oxygen is uh, is more stabilized than the one in the alcohol the negative charge is only in one oxygen and so it's less stable compared to the carboxylate which is the oxygen will have a negative charge there but the second oxygen also and the carboxylate can contribute in this uh, delocalization of negative charge. We call this process as delocalization through resonance. Resonance between the two oxygens, the negative charge of like carboxylic acid can be uh, stabilized by two oxygens. And let's draw a structure of carboxylic acid. carboxylic acid. You have this proton that's an acidic this proton as you can see over here so this proton is an acidic so you can if there's any base react with it but I can see the proton on a truck negative charge on an oxygen tamam hala negative charge on an oxygen can be delocalized nigdar and harika back to the carbon level carbon horn this have electron are a partial positive so it can make a double bond with this carbon and to make a new bond with this carbon, you break this bond with the, with the other oxygen carb, el, el, el carbonyl, and you can draw the second resonance form that you can see of that carboxylic acid. The second resonance form, oops. Now negative charge, فعلياً صارت على وين? على هاي الكارب على هاي الأكسجين الأكسجين at the top so the negative charge can move from the oxygen at the bottom to the oxygen at the top and then it can goes back as well تقدر ترسم من أسهم لحالك إنك تشوف ال electrons go back to the carbon and the negative charge goes back to this oxygen at the bottom or on the right and so the negative charge is delocalized فعليا يعني معمولها delocalization يعني إنها موزعة على two oxygens راح تيجي على هاي الاكسجين بعدين تروح على هاي الاكسجين بعدين ترجع على هاي الاكسجين فايتس كايند اوف يعني ديستريبيوتد الفول نيجاتيف تشارج تبعت الاكسجين هون كايند اوف ديستريبيوتد على التو اكسجين وات داز ذات مين شو الكونسيكونس اوف ذات ذات مينز انه النيجاتيف تشارج از مور ستابيلايزد ما في اتوم بتحب يعني لحالها تحمل كل النيجاتيف تشارج دائما ات لايكس تو ديلوكلايز ات اور ديستريبيوتد اند سو اتس مور ستيبل ذان الالكوكسايد اللي كنا نشوفهم سابقا اللي هم لو بدنا نكتبهم Let me use a different color here, and if we see those alkoxides, O minus, this is al alkoxide. The nitrogen in alcohol not so stable, and يعني compared to the carboxylate, it's more stable than, for example, we're talking about carbonyl. The carbonyl is negative, it's more stable. But compared to the carboxylic acid, not less stable. The negative charge that's present in us over here, actually, the one on oxygen is only. On one oxygen, by the negative charge of carboxylate distributed into oxygen. So, معنى هذا الحكي معنى تو this reaction. Oops, let me delete this. Use the. معنى تو basically as you can see that your carboxylic acid proton can be easily can be easily taken away to produce the carboxylate. So that means your proton here is an acidic proton. لأنه الناتج اللي بنتج من عنا اللي هو الكاربوكسيليت فعليا او النيجاتيفلي تشارجد كاربوكسيليك اسيد 
is stabilized by this resonance that we saw over here. This is the resonance of the carboxylate. And so that makes this negative charge stabilized. Means this uh, proton is easier to be leave or to leave or to be donated or to be broken. Tamam? So that's the reason why carboxylic acids are more acidic than phenols, alcohols in general. Okay? Right. Uh, then in general now we know that the carboxylic acids are more acidic than phenol or alcohol because of the resonance or the delocalization of the negative charge over two oxygen instead of one and through this resonance the negative charge is more stable means this acidic this proton is more acidic خلينا نشوف to compare the acidity of different carboxylic acids بهمني تعرف حكينا عن هذا الحكي سابقا لما حك شرحنا الفينولز that when you add an electron withdrawing on your carboxylic كنا نحكي هذا الحكي سابقا عن الفينول إذا بنضيف electron withdrawing or electronegative substituent this enhanced the acidity of the phenol لأنهم بسحبوا الكترونات نفس الشيء بالكاربوكسلك أسد إذا أنا ضيفت على أي كاربوكسلك أسد electron withdrawing substituent I am enhancing the acidity of carboxylic acid. So let's look a look. If I want to compare two compounds, I'm gonna draw them over here. So you have this compound, the lower, fairly and just a simple acetic acid. And if I add replace one of those hydrogens, carbon, let me replace it with an electron with a drawing. An example on that this compound where you have chlorine. Chlorine is electron withdrawing, as we all know. We know halogens. Which one is more acidic? Let's talk about this. This is acetic acid, and the top one, which is actually acetic acid. The second one, which is chloroacetic acid. Which one is more acidic? The one that's more acidic, definitely, which is chloroacetic acid. What's the reason? Because chloroacetic acid has an electron withdrawing atom, which is chlorine, that enhances the acidity of this carboxylic acid. We all know. عرفنا انه الكترون ويذ دروينج بحسب الاسيديتي ان كيس اوف فينول اند ذا سيم رول ابلايز هير فور كاربوكسليك اسيد اف اي اد تو كلورينز ليتس سي ذا داي كلورو اسيتيك اسيد ذس كومباوند ناو از ايفن سترونجر اسيديك ذان مونو كلورو اند سو اون طيب بناء على هذا الحكي كان اندرستاند ذا تيبل هير از يو كان سي اند ان ذات تيبل يو كان سي ذات وي هاف يو كان سي ذات اف وي كومبير مثلا Uh, let's see, acetic acid, this is, uh, عفوا, formic acid, compare formic acid, or let's not do this, not formic acid, خلينا نطلع. Acetic acid زي ما حكيت مع chloroacetic acid, mean more acidic, acetic acid has a value of pK 475, chloroacetic acid اللي مثلا أنا حطيته, pK تبعه 2.85, so which is stronger acidic, definitely chloroacetic acid, لأنه chloro is more str stronger electron with the ونفس الشيء بنعرف كنا الفلورين is more electronegative than chlorine chlorine electronegative more electronegative than bromine and bromine is more electronegative than iodine so fluorine is stronger electron withdrawing than chlorine bromine or iodine so fluoroacetic acid is stronger uh, acidic compound than chlorine تمام بس الاكسبشن بهاي الحاله اللي هي البرومين يعني ما راح اشرح موضوع البرومين بس يعني ان جنرال الفلورين كلورين برومين ايودين الفلورين is more Acidic than chlorine, and the chlorine more acidic than iodine. The exception is the bromine, and I won't explain this idea. But the important thing to know is that halogens, addition of halogens, increase acidity. And in case if you want to add more halogens, for example, here we have trifluoro, some acetic acid, three fluorines, is much more acidic than monofluoroacetic acid or one fluoroacetic acid, just one fluoro if you have in that compound, and so on. So more halogens in your structure. means the compounds more acidic, all right? طيب. طيب, the same thing can be applied على benzoic acid. Benzoic acid اللي هو زي اللي بنحكي عنهم aromatic, aromatic carboxylic acid or cyclic carboxylic acid. We can see over here as we have seen earlier بحالة الفينول that benzoic acid, if you add an electron with a drawing, uh, this enhanced acidity or increase the acidity بينما بحالة الالكترون دونيتنج what they do they reduce the acidity فالmore acidic is if you have electron withdrawing لو نطلع عليهم هذول كلهم كلورو برومو نيترال الديهايد نيترو كلهم هذول الكترون withdrawing they are stronger acidic compounds make the benzoic acid stronger acidic than the ones when you have electron donating 
these are example of electrodonating. We talked about the OH and we talked about the OH and the OCH3. Basically, the OH is actually an electron with a drawing. If we talk about it through bonds, through bonds. But by resonance, because it's linked to a spinning ring, it's electrodonating. We talked about resonance stronger than the inductive effect always. So OH, if it's attached to phenyl, it's always considered as electron donating. The OH, لما تكون رابطة على فينيل راح تكون دائما electron donating أو الأكسجين in general. So OH, OCH3, these are two electron donating as you can see, and these two groups over here, the electron donating, so they reduce the acidity. The metal electron donating reduces the acidity. The hydrogen is very weak electron donating. It doesn't matter, so it just reduces the acidity compared to the other ones, and so on. نقطة activating و deactivating group هاي ما بتهمني راح أحكي عنها later on لما نشرح محاضرات ال aromatic substitution of those benzoic acids هو عبارة عن just the activation with deactivating groups هذا مصطلح يطلق على ال electrophilic aromatic substitution إنه فعليا ال electron donating بتحسن ال electrophilic aromatic substitution على ال ortho pair of بسموهم activating groups electron withdrawing بتخفف Electrophilic aromatic substitution, which are called deactivating groups. We'll be able to explain them in more detail later on. Either way. Okay. So we understand the benefits of the benzoic acid. Electron withdrawing reduces the acidity of the benzoic acid. The same thing applies to the linear carboxylic acid, the acetic acid, the formic acid. Electron donating, of course, definitely they reduce the acidity. The OH is electron donating by resonance. So if we talk about hydroxybenzoic acid, this is weaker than benzoic acid, the para-hydroxybenzoic acid. But if you ask a question tricky, if we talk about hydroxyacetic acid, if we talk about three, or two, two hydroxyacetic acid or hydroxyacetic acid, this compound of hydroxy will work as electron withdrawing. If there is no phenyl ring, if the hydroxy is attached directly to acetic acid or to linear carboxylic acid, okay? بس بحالة الفينل لما تكون اتشت على اروماتيك راح تكون دونيتيك طيب هاي نقطة يعني شرحتها كثير انه الواتش از الكترون دونيتيك باي ريزوننس لما تكون مرتبطة على فينل بينما هي الكترون ويذ دروينج لما تكون مرتبطة على اتومز دايركتلي ثرو سنجل بوند تمام اورايت طيب خلينا نشوف سام رياكشنز فور كاربوكسيليك اسيدز ذا فيرست ثينج وي جونا توك اباوت اللي هم البريبريشن اوف كاربوكسيليك اسيدز And typically, the easiest way that probably we have learned long time ago when we took alcohols or we studied about the alcohols, اللي هما الالكوهولز can be oxidized by Jones oxidation or the chromic acid. نفس التسمية تسميات مختلفة لنفس الرياكشن. Chromic acid or Jones oxidation oxidizes your alcohol to carboxylic acid. كمان أخذنا عن oxidation of aldehyde to carboxylic acid with the silver dioxide. وحكينا هذا is a basic condition. We can use ammonium hydroxide. So this is a basic oxidation. Between the top one, the Jones oxidation, or acidic oxidation, fairly. But these are different conditions can be used to prepare carboxylic acid from either alcohol or aldehyde. As we have done. We have done. This is called Tollens reagent. We are going to produce as a byproduct of silver. What we are going to do again lab of pharmaceutical organic chemistry. راح يعملوا هذا السبيسيفيك للتفاعل. طيب اذا اول تفاعل من تحضيرات الكربوكسيك اسيد بيسكلي ثرو اوكسيديشن اوف الديهايد اور الكهول ذات ويل جيف ا كربوكسيك اسيد. الطريقه التاليه اللي هي عندنا يوجولي بريبريشن اوف اللي هو بنزويك اسيد ديريفاتيفز اند بنزويك اسيد ديريفاتيفز از ار بريبيرد فروم كومباوندز ذات ار ذات ار كولد الكل بنزين. الالكيل بنزينز هم عباره عن بنزين رينج وعليها الكيل جروب. So these alkyl benzenes can be oxidized to the derivative the benzoic acid derivative by a reagent that's called KMnO4 and it's also known as potassium permanganate. This is called as potassium permanganate. So KMnO4 oxidizes an alkyl benzene to the benzoic acid. راح يبدلنا او راح يحولنا اني الكل بنزين لبنزويك اسيد ديريفاتيف. This reaction oxidation reaction can happen على الالكل جروب اللي على البنزين بس شرط it should be either primary or secondary alkyl. Only primary or secondary tertiary cannot be oxidized. And let's see examples of how the reaction. Let's look at this compound. This is called as metal benzene or a non common name تبعه toluene. If you oxidize it with K-4 You prepare benzoic acid. So what happens here basically, 
is that this methyl over here becomes carboxylic acid. Again, just very simple oxidation where you oxidize this methyl to carboxylic acid, as you can see over here. تمام؟ واضحة؟ طيب هلا ال K من four إذا أنا مثلاً استخدمته على propyl benzene. This is a propyl benzene. Now this carbon is a secondary carbon. فعلياً ونفس التفاعل راح نأخذ نفس البرودكت. ففعلياً you oxidize this to carboxylic acid. And the rest اللي هو الأثيل جروب over here الجزء اللي بضل بيروح بيطلع ما بيهمني شو بيطلع بس راح ينتج عندي فقط again نفس البرودكت اللي هو benzoic acid. So oxidation of methyl benzene or propyl benzene or hexyl benzene كلهم راح يعطوني نفس البرودكت راح يعطوني benzoic acid تمام راح يعطوني نفس البرودكت لأنه just you you have to look directly at the alkyl group that's attached to the benzene. It's primary or secondary. خلاص راح يطلع من عنا benzoic acid. If it's one alkyl group, إذا عنا just one alkyl group هون attached على benzene ring, وكانت primary or secondary, راح يعطينا directly just اللي هو benzoic acid اللي كنا بنعرفه. تمام؟ واضح؟ آه يعني ما بيهمني قديش فيه carbons هنا. آه three carbons, four carbons, six carbons, ten carbons attached على benzene اللي هما uh, attached as a as a substitute stuent. ما بيهمني هذا الحكي بيهمني انه راح يطلع بالاخير راح نقطع الالكل تشين من هون فقط راح ينتج اللي هو اوكسيديشن مع هاي الكربون فيرست كربون اتاش للبنزين رينج اند ذات بوزيشن اور لوكيشن ويل بي اوكسيدايزد باي كي ام ان او 4 تو جيف يو ذا كاربوكسيليك اسيد بهاي الحاله بنزويك اسيد طب اذا كان في عندنا تو الكل جروبس مثال اللي هو ذيس كومباوند ذيس كومباوند هي عباره عن ذير از تو سبستيتيوت على تو لوكيشن عندنا هاي على ذيس لوكيشن ان ذا بنزين And then there is, you can think of it as two substituents. The second location also is substituted over here. So these two secondary carbons, this one and this one over here, both of them will be oxidized to carboxylic acid. So you will get this compound with the two carboxylic acid, benzene and two carboxylic acid that are ordered to each other. What we call it, which is the common name, this is called as phthalic acid. Okay. And so this oxidation of this compound will give us a two carboxylic acid compounds. نفس الشيء لو أنا بدي أعطيك هذا ال compound أحكي لك أسألك أحكي لي شو راح ينتج منه. لو عملت له reaction with KMnO4 راح يعطيني نفس الشيء اللي هو two benzoic acids أو two carboxylic acids. تمام؟ so these two carboxylic these two alkyls over here will be oxidized to carboxylic acids. last thing we want to say here in this preparation of benzoic acid derivative that if the carbon that's attached directly to the benzene is a tertiary then there is no reaction can happen you cannot prepare benzoic acid. all right? so these are very simple reaction to prepare your benzoic acid from alkyl benzene. طيب in the next reaction that we will learn about اللي هو preparation of carboxylic acid from alkenes we can also prepare carboxylic acid from alkyl and this is called oxidative cleavage ليش oxidative cleavage because you're breaking a double bond into two carboxylic acids these two carbons تبعون double bond اللي موجودين رابطين عشان يعملوا double bond راح يصير عليهم two carboxylic acid but you have to break the bond and give two carboxylic acid compounds so that's why we call this reaction as oxidative cleavage تمام لانه بنكسر الرابط الثنائي وبنعطي تو carboxylic acid compounds so this is done typically with potassium permanganate and if you remember شفنا قبل سابقا اللي هو oxidative cleavage reaction this is done on ozonolysis لما حكينا سابقا عن ozonolysis reaction على double bonds كمان راح يعطينا oxidative cleavage اذا بتتذكروا اذا درست الاوزونوليسيس راح تعرفوا انه حكينا عن الاوكسيدتيف cleavage طيب هلا البوتاسيوم بيرمانجانيت كان دو ان اوكسيدتيف كليفش فور ذيس دبل بوند تو جيف تو كاربوكسيليك اسيدز هاويفر ذير از وان سبيسيفيك كونديشن ذات ذا كاربونز اللي رابطين عشان يعملوا دبل بوند لازم يكون عليهم وحده منهم اتليست تكون عليها وان هيدروجين اذا كان عليهم الكاربونز نو هيدروجين اوف ذا دبل بوندز ذن يو كانت دو ذيس رياكشن اف يور دبل بوند ان انذر ووردز از تترا سبستيتيوتد عليها فور سبستيتيوتس كلهم الكل جروبس ما في هيدروجينز الرياكشن ما راح يحصل الرياكشن اونلي هابنز اف يور دبل بوند هاز وان هيدروجين اتليست الكربونز اون ذا دبل بوندز 
هاف 1 هيدروجين اللي هم الخيار بونز اللي عاملين الدبل بونز تمام نطلع هذا الستركشر هون راح نشوف ذا ستركشر اف وي ابلايد بوتاسيوم بيرمانجانيت وذ اسيد يو ويل كليف ذيس دبل بوند يو ويل بريك ذيس دبل بوند اوفر هير برودوس تو كاربوكسيليك اسيدز كومباوند ذيس وان از كولد نونا نون نانوويك اسيد اند ذا اذر وان هو نون ان دايوويك اسيد هاز تو كاربوكسيليك اسيد تمام ذا فيرست وان از كولد نون نانوويك اسيد از ويل And these are two carboxylic acid compounds. This is a new carboxylic acid, and this is the other new carboxylic acid. So the two carboxylic acid resulted from this reaction are these two, this one and this one. Now we have two compounds. So you can prepare carboxylic acid from alkene. And the next way we will learn about about preparation of carboxylic acid is basically through hydrolysis of nitrile. We had a talk about nitriles. Nitriles are compounds that can be hydrolyzed under hot acidic conditions to give you carboxylic acid and release of ammonia. واضح فالنيتريل هم كاربون عليهم تريبل بوند مع نيتروجين. These carbons triple bond nitrogens are called nitrile. تذكروا كنا نحكي انه prepared by sodium cyanide or potassium cyanide SN2 reaction مع alkali bromide to give this uh, nitrile compound as we can see. And the nitrile compound can be converted under hot acidic conditions by to hydrolyze it to carboxylic acid. So, can the three bonds with nitrogen change to three bonds with two oxygens, and so this is a carboxylic acid, and their uh, ammonia will be released. This is the best method to prepare a carboxylic acid from primary or secondary halides. Less primary or secondary, then we are talking about SN2 reaction. And SN2 reaction happens faster in primary or, or secondary to prepare the nitrile first, and then usually you take that nitrile to prepare carboxylic acid. You cannot prepare uh, uh, carboxylic acid or nitrile fairly from tertiary halide. Tamam? You cannot do this because there is it's very hard to do a SN2 reaction at tertiary. The last method for preparation of carboxylic acid is carboxylation of Grignard reagent. And Forget about this example. I'll draw a specific example here. Let's take a look at this compound. This is a very simple green reagent. It is methyl magnesium bromide. Methyl magnesium bromide is a very simple green reagent. And this compound, as we all know, has the magnesium has positive two, the bromine and the negative charge, the alkyl has a negative charge. We learned this previously when we were talking about green reagent. إذا ضفنا عليه carboxylic acid what happens إلا عفوا إذا ضفنا عليه carbon dioxide what happens is you get a carboxylic acid ليش؟ let's first see how this reaction will proceed very simple very easily a negatively charged on carbon we know it's a very strong nucleophile لأنه الكربون ما بتحب عليها negative charge so it's going to attack any partially positive carbon and this over here you can see the the carbon dioxide اللي هو gas The carbon has a partial positive, and so you can easily draw a reaction mechanism where the negative attack, negatively charged carbon attack this carbon, and then the electron go back to oxygen to give you this compound. اللي هو إيش؟ لاحظ إنه في كربون جديد إجت من الكربون ديوكسيد. So this is, as we know, all is propanoic acid. تمام؟ Let me draw it in a better way. Okay, so this is called as propanoic acid. So, حضرنا propanoic acid فعليا من تفاعل carbon dioxide gas مع ethyl magnesium bromide. تمام؟ لاحظ إنه هنا ethyl والناتج عنا propanoic acid. في an additional carbon there in this structure that came from this carbon dioxide carbon. طيب نطلع هذا compound. This compound is bromo benzene or فعليا one bromo two four six trimethyl benzene. We can prepare the green reagent from any alkyl halide, as we all learned previously, by addition of magnesium metal. Take that other any green reagent by addition of magnesium metal on alkyl halide. In this case, we have bromobenzene, it's an alkyl halide. We add magnesium to it. This prepares our green reagent. So this is a green reagent, as we can see. Then we have magnesium bromide, we have alkyl group. So the negative charge. Is on this carbon. This carbon has a negative charge that is attached to the magnesium. This can do a nucleophilic attack on carbon dioxide, and you can generate the benzoic acid. So you can make a benzoic acid 
from this bromobenzene compound through the formation first of green reagent and then addition the second step addition of carbon dioxide. The ma'am, what high note so you can prepare carboxylic acid from uh, bromo, uh, alkyl halides, يعني. so I can bromo or chloro by formation of first of green reagent and then you do the next step which is addition of carbon dioxide. What the? This is in the next slide. This is what I just spoke about. The mechanism موجود again. The attack of that green reagent to form your carboxylic acid, followed by addition of acid to just protonate that carboxylate to carboxylic acid. So this is the last method we learn about the preparation of carboxylic acid. So we learned many methods about how do we prepare carboxylic acid. أول واحد حكينا لي سابقا oxidation of alcohol or aldehyde by either chromic acid or toluene reagent. The second method is oxidation of alkyl benzene by KMnO4 to produce the benzoic acid. The third method we talked about is oxidation of alkene, the oxidative cleavage to prepare two benzoic acid structures. The fourth method we talked about is the hydrolysis of nitrite to carboxylic acid. The fifth one is the preparation of carboxylic acid from Grignard reagent. Okay. Now we all the interactions تحضير الكربوكسيليك اسيد راح نحكي عن تفاعلات الرياكشن اوف كربوكسيليك اسيد كيف الكربوكسيليك اسيد بتفاعل شو انا بقدر احضر فانكشنال جروبس ذات ار كامينج فروم كربوكسيليك اسيد شو بقدر اغير او احول كربوكسيليك اسيد تو اذر فانكشنال جروب طيب خلينا نحكي عن هلا تفاعلات الكربوكسيليك اسيد خلينا ناخذ اوفر فيو اوف ذا رياكشنز اوف كربوكسيليك اسيد ذس جاست ا جنرال اوفر فيو شو وات ار ذا تايبس اوف رياكشنز ذات كربوكسيليك اسيد كان دو This, there is usually four types of reactions. Our type of reaction is the alpha substitution. What we mean by alpha, high carbon is directly attached to the carboxylic acid. Our carbon jump the carboxylic acid is called alpha carbon. And so the proton on this alpha carbon can be substituted with a different group. Can we can replace this H with R. It's called alpha substitution. The second reaction is basically coming from physical properties of the carboxylic acid. As we have learned uh, just right now in this lecture, this OH of the carboxylic acid proton is acidic, so it can be donated. You can make a carboxylate anion, a conjugate base. So this is just a simply deprotonation. This carboxylate, let me call it a negative charge, can be weakly nucleophilic. And it can do nucleophilic attack, can uh, do an instant two reaction sometimes. And we'll see some other reactions later on. A third type of reaction is reduction, basically. Reduction is just addition of H minuses or hydrides to replace this oxygen. And as you can see, this double bond my oxygen is replaced with two hydrogens. And so this is a reduction. You converted your carboxylic acid to alcohol. This is a reduction. And but that carbon oxygen double bond be carbon two hydrogens. And the last thing, as we can see, is nucleophilic acid substitution. We can know how the nucleophilic acid substitution. And when we explain the reaction of carbonyl compounds, this is shared with aldehyde and ketones, also shared with uh, other type of ketones specifically, and aldehyde, they use carboxylic acid, can all go through nucleophilic acid substitution. And this starts with a nucleophilic addition, alahyl carbonyl carbon. And so the addition to that carbonyl carbon usually is weaker than uh, aldehyde or ketone. لأنه عنا الكربوكسيك أسيد كربون there is a resonance effect this oxygen is donating electrons so that positive charge the partial positive on the carbonyl تبع الكربوكسيك أسيد is weaker so the reaction of nucleophilic addition على هدول الكربون الكربوكسيك أسيد are a little bit weaker an example طبعا عن nucleophilic addition اللي هم reduction أو آخر واحد هو nucleophilic acyl substitution إنك تبدل ال OH نحكي acyl substitution اللي هو تبدل الكربون ال atom اللي attached على الكربون الكربون في هاي الحالة it's OH with another group which is the Y group. طيب. ال 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 examples خلينا نأخذ عدوار التفاعلات اللي هو أول تفاعل راح نأخذ عنه اللي هو reduction of carboxylic acid. We learned previously إنه carboxylic acid can be reduced by lithium aluminium hydride to give a alcohol specifically primary alcohol. This reaction usually requires lithium aluminium hydride. حكينا sodium borohydride does not work. It's kind of a difficult reaction to do this reaction in the reduction of carboxylic acid to 
uh, alcohol, you need some heat sometimes, and, and a tetrahydrofurane, which is a uh, purine, which is just a solvent, with the presence of lithium aluminum hydride, that will give us the primary alcohol. The next way to do a reduction of carboxylic acid to alcohol is also you can use borane in THF. Borane is BH3, can reduce big data H minus, they use a lithium aluminum hydride. Borane can provide H minus level hydride, semina hydride, as we all know. So, borane can be used to reduce your carboxylic acids to primary alcohol. And borane is very selective to carboxylic acid because it's easy, it's selective that reduces specifically carboxylic acid, does not reduce esters, it does not reduce ketones or aldehydes, very selective only for carboxylic acid. Al aks lithium aluminum hydride. Lithium aluminum hydride, by reduction for everything ester, carboxylic acid, ketone, aldehyde. Benamel borane, always specific to carboxylic acid, reduce your carboxylic acid to primary alcohol. And it's an easy and safe reaction compared to the lithium aluminum hydride. So it's preferred over lithium aluminum hydride. Tamam? So this is one of the reactions, the reduction of carboxylic acid to alcohol. The second type of reaction is the nucleophilic acyl substitution. And when we say acyl substitution, you're replacing this group of acyl. This acyl means carbonyl and a substituent. A substituent could be OH. Could be NH, could be uh, uh, Cl. Kilmit acyl just represent this carbonyl with a substituent attached to it. تمام? So this is a nucleophilic acyl substitution. Let's make nucleophilic acyl substitution. Then we're replacing this substituent. اللي هو بهاي الحالة إحنا معبرين عنه بس ب Y. We can replace this Y with different nucleophile. So this is a nucleophilic acyl substitution. How does this reaction goes mechanism-wise? Very simply, very easily. You have this acyl group with a Y. Usually, this Y represents a good leaving group. First, nucleophile has a partial negative or full negative charge. Attacks al carbonyl carbon. You make this tetrahedral intermediate. In oxygen now, a negative charge kicks in back the negative charge to make double bond with the carbon. And the good leaving group, the Y, originally will leave. And this resulted in replacement of the Y or substitution of the Y with the nucleophile. The Y typically is a good leaving group زي ما حكينا عشان هي عشان هي تقدر تطلع وضل النيوكليفايل موجود لازم تكون good leaving group and this is typically either alkoxy اللي هو OR or amide or chlorine as we all know. طيب هلا ال Y زي ما حكينا هون can be either amide can be uh, chloride بهي الحالة بنسميها acyl chloride can be OH but OH is not very good leaving group. You need some time acidic conditions to enhance this reaction or make this OH of carboxylic acid good leaving group. زي ما شفنا بحالة الاستر formation لما تضيف alcohol مع carboxylic acid بتحتاج لأسد بتحتاج لسلفيريك أسد عشان نسرع ال reaction and the OH is not a good leaving group. You make it OH two plus and then this speeds up the reaction. Right. So there is many derivatives of acid. و بدناش يعني نشرح فقط على الكربوكسيك أسيد نيكليفيلك إسايل سبستيوشن بدنا نشرح بشكل عام عن كل الدريفاتيفز أوف إسايل زي الإسايل كلورايد أو إسايل هيلايد زي الإمايدز لأن هو كل الواي هاي مثلا نيتروجين صار اسمه إمايد كل ما دور رح نشرح عنه فقط رح نتعلم تسميتهم مبدئيا هدول الإسايل كومباوندز إن جنرال وبعدين رح نحكي عن تفاعلاتهم اللي هم رح نعتبرهم دريفاتيف في كربوكسيك أسيد زي الإمايد إسايل هيلايدز ال ال as well as the esters كل ما دولا بنعتبرهم ديريفاتيف خلينا نتفرج على تسمياتهم أول شيء اللي هم شو مال كاربوكسيك أسيد ديريفاتيف اللي بهمونا اللي هي حكينا عنهم ال Y هاي ممكن تكون O H ممكن تكون C L B R هيلايد صار اسمهم أسيد هيلايد أو إسال هيلايد ممكن تكون another كاربوكسيك أسيد and this is we call أسيد أنهايدرايد ليش أسيد أنهايدرايد because basically this is coming from two كاربوكسيك أسيد this كاربوكسيك أسيد reacted مع another carboxylic acid إذا في space ونرح أرسم من other okay so the reaction of two carboxylic acids could produce these the acid and hydride under acidic conditions the dark سموهم acid and hydride هما فعليا there is an elimination of water in this reaction so let's draw what happens here that with a different color maybe green 
this OH مثلا واحدة of the two OHs this one or this one it doesn't matter you can use either one need to be removed راح تطلع or eliminated فعليا and then this oxygen will be attached مع هاي الكربوني so that will produce the compound اللي هون اللي بنسميه acid and hydride تمام so acid and hydride فعليا جاي من تفاعل two carboxylic acid مع بعض and the other derivative of carboxylic acids اللي هم ال amide as we all know عندنا الثيوستر الامايد كلنا بنعرف اللي فيها النيتروجين اللي هي الواي عباره عن نيتروجين الثيوستر عندنا اس ار اللي هي السلفر جروب موجود فيها مش استر اتس الثيوستر فيها اس ار اذا كانت اكسجين دايركتلي اتاشت عليها الكل جروب اللي هي الاستر از وي اول نو سو اول اوف ذيس ار ديريفاتيفز اوف كاربوكسيليك اسيدز ذات كان دو نيوكليو فوليك اسيد سبستيتيوشن راح نتعلم على هذول الاسيد سبستيتيوشنز ان بيت ليتر But before we do, we will learn about the naming of these derivatives. Keep in some other derivatives. How do we name them so we can learn about the reactions that are related to them? نبلش بأول واحد اللي هو naming of carboxylic acid derivatives specifically اللي هو acid halides. The acid halides اللي حكينا عنهم اللي هم acyl halides. طيب حكينا these compounds are derived from carboxylic acid name by replacing the oic acid. بنشيل the oic acid. كلهم derivatives. فراح نشيل الاوك اسيد ونستبدلها ب something كل الديريفاتيفز راح نشوف نفس الشيء الاوك اسيد اللي كانت الكربوكسيليك اسيد سابقا تسميه الكربوكسيليك اسيد راح نشيل الاوك اسيد ونستبدلها ب واي ال اند ذن يو اد ذا هيلايد نيم ات ذا اند ذاتس اف يور كومباوند از لينير اسيد هيلايد اذا كان سايكليك راح نستخدم كلمه نشيل الكربوكسيليك اسيد ونضيف كاربونيل اند ذن وي اد ذا هيلايد تو Let's see an example. This compound, if it was a carboxylic acid, you can say me CH3 COOH. This is called as by common name, low acetic acid. So if we want to name this compound over here, low acetyl chloride, keep it as me. Then we replace the OH that is present here with Cl, as you can see. And so what do we What do we uh, what do we name this compound? Let me redraw it in a better way. So how do we name this compound? We just basically took the uh, aic acid or oic acid at the end, and we replaced it with a yl as you can see here. So as you can see, and then you have the chloride to represent. عشان نعبر عن الكلوريد. So it's an acetyl chloride. نفس الشيء هذا الكومباوند is called as benzoic acid سابقا if it was a carboxylic acid now you have a bromine instead of the OH so it's replaced with the IC in the benzoic acid benzoic we replaced it with YL so you call it benzoyl bromide this is com this is the name of this compound and the last one if we have cyclohexane سابقا حكينا cyclohexane carboxylic acid إذا كانت carboxylic acid هون صار يروح يكسير اسمها cyclohexane carbonyl بدلنا الكربوكسيك acid بكلمة carbonyl So this is cyclohexane carbonyl chloride. This is the naming of those acid halides. Here we call them acid halides. The acid anhydrides, which I talked about earlier, how do we call them? Very simply, we you have to think about it as two, two, actually, two halves. Because the acid anhydride, meaning they are two carboxylic acids, actually, they are connected with each other. This is one carboxylic acid, and this is the second carboxylic acid. Of course, we Uh, eliminated a water molecule from those two carboxylic acids to be able to connect them to each other. So how do we name them? Just by replacing the word acid with anhydride based on the related carboxylic acid. And as you can see, Hona, this acid itself is acetic acid, and this is also another acetic acid. So what we, if they both both halves are the same, then we just add the word anhydride. فهذا اصلا كان اسمه اسيتيك اسيد تو اسيتيك اسيدز شلنا الاسيد وبدلناهم بانهايدرايد طيب هون تو بنزويك اسيد مرتبطين مع بعض this is one benzoic acid and you can think of it as the second benzoic acid so these two benzoic acids are named as benzoic anhydride هلا في some uh, common names they have a compound it's called succinic anhydride this is just a common name for that compound if the two halves are not symmetrical يعني هون شايف بنزويك اسيد زي ما احنا شايفين كانه فعليا مرتبط مع اسيتيك اسيد بنسمي لها تو هافز الون سو اتس ان اسيتيك اند بنزويك سو وي هاف اسيتيك بنزويك بدل كلمه اسيد راح نستخدم انهايدرايد سو فيري سيمبل ذا نيمينج اوف ذوس كاربوكسيليك اسيد كومباوند ديريفاتيفز اللي هم الاسيد انهايدرايد 
ال next one that we will talk about اللي هو ال amides. ال amides are the same as carboxylic acid. Instead of OH, we have an NH there. Okay. So زي ما شفنا سابقا بكل تسميات ال amides. Sorry, derivatives. بنشيل ال oic acid or aic acid and replace this بحالة ال amide we replace it with the word amide. هذا بحال كان الكربوكسيليك اسيد او اللي ام اي يعني فعليا هو لينير اذا كان اسيتيك سوري اذا كان سايكليك وي ريبليس ذا وورد كربوكسيليك اسيد وذ كربوكسامايد اند اف ذير از اني سبستيتيوانت على النيتروجين يو نيد تو ايدنتيفاي ذا سبستيتيوانت جروب باي فيرست ادينج ال ان لتر ان اند ذن يو اد ذس ذا نيم اوف ذا سبستيتيوانت فولود باي ذا ام اي نيم خلينا نشوف تسميات هنا كلنا بنعرف this compound originally is called acetic acid لما كان carboxylic acids now بدلنا ال OH ب NH2 so تسميته راح تكون بدل بدل A ب acetic acid شلنا ال IC at the end وخلينا اكتبها بدل ما احكيها احسن And so you replace this, you remove this aic acid and replace it with just amide. So it's called acetamide, as you can see. Okay. So this compound is called as acetamide. The next one is called as hexanamide. But the hexanoic acid, but then the oic acid, and the last three letters O, I, C, and the word acid we replaced with the amide, so it's hexanamide. This compound is originally, if it was a carboxylic acid, we would call it cyclopentane carboxylic acid. Now we call it a cyclopentane carboxamide. And the next one, in the whole, look at this compound. In this compound, we have a methyl substituent on nitrogen. So this is a called as propanamide. Propanamide. This is the compound that's called as propanamide. The N of E nitrogen, but the carboxylic acid. We then talk about the substituent. Now we call it as N-methyl propanamide. Let's look at this compound. This is cyclohexane carboxylic acid. This is called instead of carboxylic acid. Now we use carboxamide, and the two substituent here N-N diethyl. Now N-N diethyl cyclohexane carboxamide is the name of this amide. So the last thing we will talk about in this lecture talk is naming of esters. Esters are very similar to carboxylic acid, except that we have an alkyl group but the hydrogen is not originally present with carboxylic acid. This alkyl group, for example, in this compound is an ethyl alkyl group. So how do we name esters? The name usually we replace oic acid or ic acid. We replace it with the suffix. We replace it with at. They can only talk about negative charge. They can only talk about carboxylate. وأنا بنحكي عنه at at the end and so that compound for example uh, as you can see it was called لو كان carboxylic acid سمينا acetic acid صار اسمه هون acetate and we added this substituent اللي هو alkyl group as ethyl so it's an ethyl uh, acetate uh, this compound by common name this compound by common name is called malonate and so if I want to name it by common name as an ester It's called dimethyl. You have two methyls on the same structure, and it's malonic. It was called malonic acid, so now it's called as malonate. So diethyl malonate. How the compound is basically cyclocarboxylic acid. So uh, cyclic carboxylic acid. So originally was if it was carboxylic acid, we name it as cyclohexane carboxylic acid. But then the word carboxylic acid be carboxylate, عشان هاستر. وبنضيف شو هي هاي ال functional group فعليا ال functional group الموجود over here as you can see is called as tertiary butyl so this is by common name is tertiary butyl cyclohexane 
كاربوكسيليت تمام سو ذيس از ذا نيمينج اوف ستار طيب هلا انا حاط هنا بهذا بهذا السلايد جست سم اكزامبلز ذير از ا تيبل سامري هاو تو نيم ذوز كاربوكسيليك اسيد ديريفاتيفز اند ذن ذيس بيسيكلي ذيس استر ذيس ديريفاتيفز نيد تو بي نيم باي ذا واي وي ليرن ات سو I am asking uh, students here to try to uh, name those compounds and work on them. And if you don't know the answers, I can share the answers, the correct answer with you later on. So please work on this as a homework and do your best to solve it. If you can't, ask me and I will email you the answer for those compounds.